Hey scrappers, it's Tom from Rockway Recycling and we've been asked to tell you more about carbide scrap so we want to do that today. As you can see in front of me I have multiple types of carbide. We have tips and bits. Now there's bigger ones, there's small, uh, medium, there's smaller, then there's all types of different bits that have different shapes and sizes. Now a couple things that you need to know about carbide. Generally our pricing online is based on material being 80% to 90% tungsten. When you have some material that we use with our analyzer and it's below that, the market pricing goes down. Now these tips that you can see right here, these are actually only 30 to 40 percent tungsten with a titanium coating and they're mixed with multiple other metals. So these were bought at a much lower rate opposed to what you see online. Online we try to use a basic price guide to give you a low end and a high end for our 80 to 90 percent material. But of course we always reserve the right to be able to change the prices due to market conditions or material grading. So these larger bits, while they're 80 to 90 percent carbide, when you have a lot of them they generally go at a smaller price due to the amount of work and effort that it takes to grind these down back into powder and make them into new carbide bits. As you get down the line you have different grades. Now this one is all carbide, tungsten carbide, but some of these bits often have the top ends being tungsten and the bottom ends being steel. Now one good way to know carbide, because a lot of people have come here at saying that they have carbide bits, is by using a simple magnet. So I'm going to put the magnet to the barrel here, you see that it immediately sticks. Now carbide has a pull to it, you can see by looking at the side, I'm going to put it here, that it will pull to it. Of course it fell, I'll use this one. It has a pull, you can see, but it doesn't have a real stick. Where you look at this and you need to pull a little more, and if you put a magnet next to the barrel, it does a hard stick. Over here, you need to get very close for it to get a little bit of a soft stick, but you can see that you can pull it off relatively easy. Same goes with these. You know, so they have a little bit of the iron inside, a little bit of magnetic properties but they aren't so hard that they're going to be able to really stick, you know, if you have to get it dead on for it to do this, but if this was a steel bit, it would just be on there completely. This is Tom from Rockway Recycling. If you have any other questions on your, tar your tungsten scrap, your carbide scrap, whether it's dust, sludge, bits, drill bits, inserts, any tungsten that you have, any tungsten-based materials, we're looking to buy them, so please shoot us an email. Until next time, I'll scrap you later.